So uh, as part of our series on learning how to build apps in 2022 without any coding knowledge, uh, the next section uh, that we need to know about is logic and workflows. So in a nutshell, when this happens, do this. That's all it is. So Bubble is built around a workflow based system. Uh, when this button is pressed, this is the set of steps that will happen. When this page is loaded, this is the set of steps that will happen. In computer software terminology, it's called an event driven paradigm. Uh, some event happens, button press, page load, every five seconds, some event happens, uh, then some action is triggered. Uh, it's uh, there's lots of like helpful videos uh, just uh, the bubble manual is good around building workflows you can schedule workflows so that uh, you can tell the backend server to run it two days later so I want to send a remind a booking reminder email I'm gonna say okay you know what schedule this workflow for two days later and then two days later that will start working then there's things about recursive workflows which is like I want something to run every day so I'm gonna schedule something that will schedule itself for tomorrow and run a set of steps then it will schedule itself for tomorrow then it'll run a set of steps tomorrow when it runs set, uh, set up uh, set your schedule yourself for tomorrow and then run again so there's lots of different blogs beauty videos around this it nothing too complicated uh, generally speaking, after teaching bootcamp and making videos, what I've found is that people pick up the design very easily. Uh, the logic isn't something they get too stuck on, depending on what feature they're trying to build. The database part is something so. So this is just uh, once you understand design uh, the database, the logic gets easier. So it's th the only thing I'll add here is sometimes it's not a logic problem it's a data problem sometimes it's not a logic or a data problem but it's a ux problem uh so it depends so i'll give a quick example we were having uh, somebody but there was a pop-up to add an order or submit an order or something uh, in one of our client projects and people clicked the submit button twice okay what was happening is people clicked the submit button and the workflow was a bit long, so it would take its time and people were like, okay, I'll just click it again. So it would submit two orders in a go. Now we could try and add a workflow solution to it. You know what, if uh, somebody's pressing the button, don't do it, blah, blah, blah. Now what the actual solution was just a UX related solution. When people click the submit button, just hide the pop-up, show an alert to the user processing your order. Users generally read it, processing order, processing complete another alert okay now i can close the tab and processing complete and everyone so it was a ux solution rather than a database logic solution so if your data is correct logic is usually quite straightforward okay so that's it for this video thank you very much and i'll see you in the next one